So wait, go. Hi! Woo! Okay, there we go. Now. Okay, so here's the deal. Everybody's always curious about what you're gonna bring with you. So behind me, I have everything laid out for Africa, and this is all the stuff that I have, so I'll give you a quick tour. So here is all my sleeping gear. This is my sleeping bag. We have a bag liner. We have the tent, the poles, a, a pillow. And over here, we have some bug nets for the mosquitoes. So one that goes over the bed, and also one for the hat. So that's what we have for there. This here area here is just all my riding gear. So we have a liner, we have a jacket, we have pants, rain jacket, rain pants, helmet. We definitely have boot covers. They're very important when you're traveling third world, you're not gonna find places to dry out your boots unless you end up in the desert. So also have a spare shield and a way to keep the shield clean. We have uh, two pair of riding gloves for hot weather because I expect to wear at least one pair out and then I have one pair for cold weather and I have liners for that, and that's waterproof the best I can. Over here is the mechanical tidbits that we're gonna need. So I have a complete toolkit, which I've posted, or will post a, uh, an itemized list of what I have here for those that are interested. So there's uh, the toolkit, we have spare tires. We have good tires on the bike, but we expect to wear those out fairly rapidly. And probably end up trying to acquire some tires along the way. Up here are the other spare items. We have spare chains, sprockets, we have brake pads, spare tubes, I have uh, spare levers, I have oil filters. We can get oil, but not filters. This area here is all of my mounts. So these are all the places so I can mount electronics on the bike. So this is for the cameras, for the GPS, for the tracking device, all of that belongs here. These are my sleeping clothes and my living clothes. Uh, one bag is for all my insulation clothes. So sweater, uh, long pants, long shirt, and just that stuff. And then of course, this is all just clean underwear, clean socks, which are the big deal, a couple of clean shirts, and I'll have two pair of uh, quick dry pants. Most of the time I expect to be wearing my riding pants. In the electronics here, I have up to five cameras. I have one for rain and sand, so no moving parts. That way if we're in adverse conditions, I can still get photos and video. And then I have three uh, video cameras, all Sina. Uh, they've performed very well for me, so I have one for the helmet, and I have two that I can carry with me. My experience in the past was to have redundancies important. Uh, South America, our camera broke after Colombia, so we have very, very little video after that. So that's what's there. Up here is my personal items. So this is my toothbrush and all the personal items there. This is extra food for the road, so if we do come up short on food, I don't end up hungry. Uh, personal documents, second passport, and then also I carry uh, a false wallet and some other false IDs and carry, that's where I keep my money. That way if anybody watches me, I'll keep one working credit card money in my wallet. So if they see me working it and they take that, they'll only take my day cash and it looks very authentic. And then I hide everything else. First aid kit, it's a medic kit, so it's complete with all the trauma items that we might need. Miguel is bringing some extra sharps or needles for Africa, that's an important consideration. All the stuff you see along the line, side are just the bags. So that's our Moscow Moto uh, duffel. We've got the camera bag, we've got dirty clothes bag. This one's mesh, so if I have wet clothes, I can wash them, put them in the back of the bike and they'll dry as I ride. Uh, a day pack if we go for a walk, computer sleeves, and a bunch of small ditty bags for putting all the small electronics and things in it. Looks like a lot the way it sits, but it's actually the minimum. There's very little here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you really quick. I'll share a picture when everything's packed up. 
So there you go, guys. That's what I'm going to live with for the next three to four months. That's it. Okay. 